guys and welcome to a new sketch day video about Lord of the Rings. If you do not like Lord of the Rings type of movies or Lord of the Rings whatsoever or Hobbit things, I would skip to another video because this is going to be what it's going to be about. But I'm going to try to make it entertaining for everyone so stick around if you want unless you really really just despise Lord of the Rings. But we're going to do a sketch day video like I said where I draw my favorite type of things from the series of The Hobbit. I literally just just got the movie theater from watching it. It was so good. I'm gonna talk about do a little bit mini review without giving away too much. So let's get started with the drawing. So usually there's two type of people. One person really loves and appreciates everything J.R.R. Tolkien has given us in this trilogy. The characters, the concept, the plot, the whole entire world he has built here. All the different languages, the layers of artistry, and like the different types of group of people, the clothing that they wear, what they specifically look like. And then there's people who think it's a whole bunch of guys with beautiful long hair who just like cry a whole bunch of times and there's made up languages and it makes no sense and they don't see why people watch this. But we're going to talk about, yes, there are a lot of beautiful men, I have to admit it, with very long hair that's prettier than mine. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. You can get upset about how the men in this movie can be too pretty because the elf people, they don't age. They look like baby soft skin. How does Orlando Bloom look like he's in his early 30s for his entire life? Like what? Lee Pace should get an award just for his performance. How does he go from pushing daisies as like a nerdy quirky guy to an elven king to the part of an amazing stuntman in like the movie The Fall. If you haven't seen that, you should go see it. But back to the Lord of the Rings, let's come back to Middle Earth. If you want to see a whole bunch of men just about to cry with beautiful beards, this is the movie for you. If you want to see makeup work and different creatures and made up languages, how do you even speak elvish? Where do I learn this? Does it come in a daily task? Like, if I go to a job and they say, Oh, your resume says you speak English, Spanish, and Elvish. Oh, you've got the job for the Elvish. You just, you're able to work at Disneyland now. Because who doesn't want to work at Disneyland? That's where I would apply to. Anyways, it brought all of the emotion. I didn't tear up because I was guessing who was going to die off because I knew people were going to die off because, I mean, it's a series and this is the last of The Hobbit, which is the trilogy before The Lord of the Rings, if you get my gist of it, where you're going to know who dies off because they're not going to be in The Lord of the Rings when Orlando Bloom comes and picks the story back up and starts off this whole entire world. Like, I knew that people were going to die and I'm sorry if I spoiled it for you is what I'm trying to say. But the tears brought on your face will fall. The action and how they did the battle scenes in this was so good. It was like just as big as it usually is. They always do these humongous battle scenes, but they brought like the lions, the tigers, the bears in this. They brought so many different skills on how they killed other creatures and animals alike. Like what? Where did this come from? It was so good. There was even some comedy parts on how they killed people that I laughed because I don't know why that's funny to me, but the audience laughed as well. So I'm like, let's chuckle about these people dying. That sounds very terrible and wrong. And oh my gosh, can we talk about how Gandalf is just so cool and chill in very drastic, crazy moments. He's like, you know what? Everyone's dying. I'm just going to chill here and smoke my pipe. This movie will blow your mind away. I haven't seen a Lord of the Rings movie that didn't like just grab my brain and heartstrings and just like play with it because I have to admit the Lord of the Rings series was a lot slower paced than the Hobbit movies. That's the only difference I have. I really love that dragon. His voice could like soothe me to sleep. I wish I could hear the sirens of the gongs and the bells on the beginning of war every morning as my alarm clock when I wake up. There's so many things I got my brain whirling. If I could do orc makeup, I wish I can, but I don't know if I could do it because the translucently of their skin, like it's see-through almost, like as cold, dead as ice. I don't know how I'm going to do that and build structures on my face like that. Maybe one day I will be practicing, but before I do that, I will do another makeup video that's coming up where I'm going to really push my skills and I'm drifting off into another world, but Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit, that movie, the newest one that came out was the last of the Hobbit series, I think, and it was so, so good. Just like always blows my expectations out of the water. 
So that's why I really wanted to draw the dwarves in this video because I just love those characters specifically for their beard work and the makeup on them. This took me less than an hour to draw because I really wanted to draw this dwarf because they're my favorite with the beards. This movie made me realize I need two things in life. My own hobbit feet to walk around the house in and my own like ring. You know that dark ring? Cool. Oh, let's add a third one. The beautiful jewelry headpieces on the elves. I want it. Ring in the new year with new goals and aspirations. Everyone's is relatable and sensible and mine is above and beyond and stupid. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and that wasn't rambling too much. It was semi fun for you to watch even if you're not a huge fan of Lord of the Rings or the Hobbits. Thank you guys so much for watching. What I would like to know is, if you could be in any movie, what would it be? I don't think mine would be Lord of the Rings because I would get cut off real quick. I'm not that great of a fighter, I wouldn't think. Mine would have to be a series of unfortunate events, although that's a very sad movie. It's one of my favorites. I always talk about it. I want to be Violet Baudelaire. Don't know why. I do. I'm getting all nerdy on you and this video definitely showed my nerdy side. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for enjoying this sketchy day video. I know you, a lot of you guys have been requesting these videos so I'm trying to make them for you. And I will definitely be seeing you guys soon in another video. We'll see what's up next. I love you all. Bye!